Oveda Culp Hobby January 19, 1905 to August 16, 1995 was the first secretary of the U.S. Department of Health, Education and Welfare, first director of the Women's Army Corps, and a chairperson of the board of the Houston Post. <laughs> Early life Culp was born on January 19, 1905, in Killeen, Texas to Texas lawyer and legislator Isaac William Culp and Emma Elizabeth Hoover. She briefly attended Mary Hardin Baylor College for Women, and attended law classes at South Texas College of Law and Commerce. She did not graduate from either school. She went on to study law at the University of Texas Law School, but she did not formally enroll and therefore never received a degree. Starting at age 21, for several years she served as parliamentarian of the Texas House of Representatives before beginning a journalism career in 1931, at age 26. <laughs> War service During World War II she headed the War Department's Women's Interest Section for a short time and then became the director of the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps later the Women's Army Corps, which was created to fill gaps left by a shortage of men. The members of the WAC were the first women other than nurses to wear U.S. Army uniforms and to receive military benefits through the Gee Bill. Hobby devoted herself to integrating the WAAC within the military, despite considering women's military involvement a temporary necessity, and worked to protect and strengthen the WAC and its image. As director, she raised admission standards and created a code of conduct specific to the WAC to create a tightly regulated, high-quality organization that portrayed women's corps in a good light. These standards, along with actions to guard the morals and image of members, developed from Hobby's prior experience with publicity and knowledge of the importance of media representation. Hobby achieved the rank of colonel and received the Distinguished Service Medal for efforts during the war. She was the first woman in the Army to receive this award. <laughs> Political career President Dwight D. Eisenhower named her head of the Federal Security Agency, a non-cabinet post, and she was invited to sit in on cabinet meetings. Soon, on April 11, 1953, she became the first secretary, and first female secretary, of the new Department of Health, Education, and Welfare, which later became the Department of Health and Human Services. This was her second time organizing a new government agency. Among other decisions and actions at HU, she made the decision to approve Jonas Salk's polio vaccine. Culp attempted to restructure Social Security payroll taxes FICA and, SECA, and was met with strong opposition. She resigned her post in 1955. At the time of her resignation she was embroiled in controversies related to the polio vaccine cutter incident. Back in Houston, Hobby resumed her position with the Houston Post as president and editor and cared for her ailing husband. She went on to serve on many boards and advisory positions with various civic and business institutions around the country. Seventeen colleges and universities, including Columbia University and the University of Pennsylvania, awarded her honorary doctoral degrees. She was the first woman who was considered for a United States presidential candidacy by an incumbent United States president. Eisenhower encouraged her to run for president in 1960, but she did not run. Personal life and family In 1931, she married former governor of Texas William P. Hobby, editor and future owner of the Houston Post, and took a position on the editorial staff at the Post. They had two children together. In ensuing years she became the newspaper's executive vice president, then its president, ultimately becoming its publisher and co-owner with her husband. In 1938, upon becoming vice president of the newspaper, she gave greater prominence to women's news. Hobby and her husband were both Southern Democrats, but soon became dissatisfied with the party throughout the 1930s. They believed Franklin D. Roosevelt's social programs overextended their original intent. After World War II, Hobby tried to sway Democratic voters to swing Republican for presidential nominees by establishing many statewide organizations. She died of a stroke in 1995, in Houston, and was buried at Glenwood Cemetery. Her son William P. Hobby, Jr., served as Lieutenant Governor of Texas from 1973 to 1991. 
Her daughter Jessica was married to Henry E. Caddo Jr., the former United States Ambassador to Great Britain and was an activist for environmental causes and for the Democratic Party. Hobby's grandson Paul Hobby narrowly lost the election for Controller of Texas to Carol Strahern in the 1998 general election. Topic Legacy The library at Central Texas College is named after her. A residence dormitory at Texas A&M University in College Station, Texas is named after her. The Oveda Culp Hobby Soldier and Family Readiness Center at Fort Hood, Texas is named for her. An elementary school in Killeen, Texas Killeen ISD, is named after her. The U.S. Post Office issued an 84-cent stamp in her honor in 2011. A building on the grounds of the Peaceable Kingdom Children's Retreat Center in Killeen, Texas is named after her. A Department of Health, Education and Welfare Service Award was named in her honor to recognize superior devotion to duty. A residence housing building at the University of Mary Hardin Baylor is named after her. In 1996, Hobby was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. Sources Pondo, Robert T. Oveda Culp Hobby, A Study in Power and Control. Ph.D. Dissertation, Florida State University, 2008, 220 pages. Treadwell, Maddie. The Woman's Army Corps 1954. Walsh, Kelly Cardenas. Oveda Culp Hobby, A Transformational Leader from the Texas Legislature to Washington, D.C. Ph.D. Dissertation, University of South Carolina, 2006, 199 pages, AAT in ProQuest Weingarten, Deborah L. Oveda Culp Hobby, Colonel, Cabinet Member, Philanthropist, 2014 Topic. See also List of female United States Cabinet Secretaries Hutchison, K. Bailey. Women's History Month. Oveda Culp Hobby. Quote, quote. Humanities Texas. Humanities Texas.